Well, hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Shelly, and I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you so much for stopping by wherever you're at and whatever device you're using. I'm glad that you're here. Glad to have you along with me. Today, I'm talking about a brand, and I can't remember if I've ever done a video exclusively dedicated to this brand's eyeshadow palettes before. I do have several of the palettes, but the brand I'm talking about is Dominate Cosmetics. I picked up the brand new The Moment palette. It had a little bit of a journey getting to me. I had ordered it and it came in pretty quickly. I want, I can't remember where it's shipped from, California maybe. Anyway, it came in pretty quickly, but then what I received was an empty envelope. It's like somebody had opened it up and taken it out. I know it's not my mail lady because she delivers to me all the time and I've never had an issue with her before. So somewhere between leaving the warehouse, however many hands it went through, and ending up with my mail lady delivering it to my house, she delivered an empty envelope. I don't think she knew it was an empty envelope. She could have thought it was just something inside it, but needless to say, I got an empty envelope. Uh, so I kind of the company, and after a little bit of go around, they finally did send me another replace my order. Their warehouse still had them, and I'm like, I don't, you know, whether you send me the palette or, or just refund me, either way, I was okay with. That's the palette, which looks to me like a really rock star, solid, good looking palette. I do have two blues and I think both of these blues that work really well with brown eyes. I love a little bit of pop of blue with a brown eye. And then uh, I do have a black shimmery. I've got these two golds and then that kind of almost like greenish gold and then three neutrals. One of them a little bit more olive green, the other two decidedly warmer and this little vanilla shade to lighten things up, I thought, you know what? I've got a little bit of time. I've got an hour before I have to leave. Let's do like three looks. Let's do a look, a look, and then we'll end with a final look. Um, that is something that I will wear uh, to go listen to my husband play because when I'm filming this, it's a Saturday, he's playing Saturday night, and this will probably go up on a Friday night as a three looks, one palette ending with mm, maybe more of a softer date night than I kind of normally do. I don't know, I'm just feeling it. I think I want to start with this warmer mid-tone brown right here. And I'm just going to take it on a big fluffy brush. It's called Essential. Now, I, as I mentioned, I do have other Dominique Cosmetic eyeshadow palettes, but my first introduction to the brand was not actually even through her palettes. It was through a dupe. Let me scoot you in. I'm sorry. Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Uh, but my first palette that I got from her was from C Color Cosmetics, and it was a dupe of one of her latte palettes. Uh, I didn't know what the palette was. I didn't realize it was a dupe. At the time, I was still kind of new to C Color Cosmetics. And then uh, I never bothered going back and getting the original. I don't think. I might have to look back in the archives, but I don't think I ever got the original. I've got a, a big fluffy brush that I I'm using to apply this color and not only is it going on pretty darn well it's shearing out and yeah it's a nice it's a nice looking shade actually it built up a little bit yeah that's okay so I guess my question right now is is this a, a good solid base shade for something like a, a work look I would say yes I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown here I love that the palette has a dark brown and a light vanilla it just happens to be a matte in this case, which I'm perfectly fine with. I always, the things that I look for in a palette to see if I can get multiple looks out of it. If you're new here, that's kind of one of my, my questions. Does it have a super light color and then does it have a dark color? And I feel like I need a dark color for my hooded close set mature eyelids. You may also have that need. But this to me with the, the dark brown and the medium brown, that's the beginning of uh, like every eye look. <laughs> to me, that's a that's a really good starting place. I'm going to take this shade right here. Creamy, a little chunky feeling. This one's called After Hours. I'm just going to apply it in the back of my hand first just to kind of see how it, I expect it to look. And then I'm applying it with my finger. Probably not the finger that I should be using because it's my middle finger, but I'm kind of pressing it into my skin as opposed to dragging it. I'm just going to take that all over my lid. This went from, oh, I can use this as a daytime look to I really do want to try to use all the shades in this palette. So I'm I'm doing looks that are not necessarily daytime looks. A little bit of fallout, kind of a glittery fallout here on the bottom. And I feel like I've got a little bit of my contact too, which is unusual. I haven't gotten fallout for a while. Just kind of blending that shimmer into the other two shades. You know what I didn't do? I, it does have a mirror. Let's take this off. Can we ASMR this? It was super satisfying. I don't know how that's going to turn up on audio, but it was very satisfying on my end. The mirror says, letting go is the key to happiness. I don't know what she went through in her life to make her want to do 
this particular palette combination, but or thought process. A little brush here and go into this vanilla shade. We're just gonna pluck this right here as my inner corner highlight. I think that the lightening and brightening just makes this a little bit, look a little bit more awake, a little bit more polished. And I don't normally highlight up here, but when I have a matte, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, okay, I can go a little ham with it. All right, I didn't do anything down below. I left it up here. It's a little dark and a little smoky, but as far as like a uh, first eyeshadow application, I use three shades. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Let's do a mascara right now and we'll just get it over with. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got a little tiny bit of mascara on, not over the top at all, but I like this kind of simple sort of look. I mean, it really is just a very, very simple, easy, quick eye look. And I actually really like it. I'm gonna use the same big fluffy brush. I'm gonna go back into that same matte and I'm gonna just get this on my lid here. I think I wanna go decidedly darker and richer with this side. I wanna go into La Noche, this dark gunmetal black shade. And, oh, it's going on really nicely, really opaque. Might as well give myself a little bit more of the shape I want. I'm gonna have to buff it in, but wow, that's really pigmented. This will make a really lovely liner, in my opinion. And I do have some fallout. Wow, that's actually really pretty. Big, fluffy brush, but I'm going to try to just soft a little. Blend it, share it out. Yeah, I actually really like that. Let me go back into the white, or the this vanilla shade. This one's not packing on quite as opaquely as I thought it would initially, but it does build. Okay, I actually really like the way these shades are blending in. I use the lightest shade to give my, you know, eyes some dimension, and I use the darkest shade to give the drama, and I actually really, really am enjoying it. I'm gonna take, I think I wanna use this, and I wanna kind of squiggle it into the lash line. Could end up being a little severe. I feel like that kind of drags down my eye a little bit. We're gonna put it a little bit more up here. Wow, yeah, you know what? That's actually a really pretty kind of dramatic look. Let's get a quick coat of mascara and I'll be right back. Not too heavy mascara. I think that this kind of dramatic eye look with these shades, I'd probably get away with a false lash, but I'm gonna take it off and do a third look. So we're gonna leave it the way it is right now. I'm not seeing any creasing with this shimmer that I put on this side. These two I look like they're very similar. This one too is really pretty. Oh wow, that's that's a different shade than I thought it was. This looks like a duochrome. It's called Mesmerized. Let's pluck a little bit this one. It feels like it's a little bit of a topper and I'm putting it on top of that powder, the bone colored powder, but wow, that's a beautiful duochrome. There's a gorgeous shift in that, but it is, I'm going in several times to build it up. But talk about mermaidy, effervescent, euphoric kind of look. I actually really like that. That's something that I would do for, for date night. Sure, absolutely. So I've got two looks. This is kind of a smoky, simple, um, olive green kind of tinged, but not overly so, goldish olive green. And then this one, a little bit more dramatic. Let's take this off and we'll come back with the third and final look. Okay, back. I cleaned up, back from my third and final look. I really wanna do something with this olive green right here. So I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. And I do have the Beauty Bay eyelid base on today. My dogs are in. And I think Zeus might even have the zoomies on the bed. Okay, I got that green on as a little bit of transition shade. And I actually really like it. That's a color that I think I might gravitate towards anyway. I think I'm going to keep my lids a little more on the neutral, green neutral side. So I'm taking the dark brown here outside, right at the lash line, and then we'll wiggle it up. This is the same brush that I was using. This happens to be a Morphe brush. And I don't know that this is one of my favorite Morphe brushes, but it's not as bad as some of them. I need to probably sort my brushes, put like favorite filming brushes up here. Lash line too, just to kind of connect it and to keep the line of the eye. Actually, I really like that brown. I think that that darker brown has the ability to work really well with a variety of hair colors and skin type, I would think. I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is like a lighter green. I almost feel like this is a little bit of a duochrome too. And I'm gonna put that on the inner portion of my lid. Yeah, that feels like it's not as, it's not as thick, as thick of a formula as this green that I used in my last look, but really, really pretty. It does have a uh, iridescent bright look to it. I don't want it to look like I tried too hard to get all dolled up. I'm, I'm really enjoying that. I'm gonna take this, actually this is a smaller brush, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that too to give my eye a little bit more definition. They're building up beautifully. I don't, I didn't listen to anybody else's reviews on this, so this is my honest take on this palette. And I don't have a, any kind of relationship with Dominique Cosmetics, so I, I didn't get any of this in PR. They didn't send this to me other than what I purchased and then complained about not getting it at all. I'm gonna grab the lighter brown too. 
and I'm gonna tap a little bit of cheer. It's also gonna kind of warm up the look. I feel like it kind of muddied it up a little bit too. It's not as crisp, clean looking as it was before. I am seeing all of the, the separate colors, so it's not like it blended into one solid shade that didn't exist before. What else do I need? I think I need a little bit of that white again, or that lightest shade in my inner corner. This one here. The palette itself, very nice, heavy weight palette. The 12 month, sh 12 month shelf life. Okay, I really wanna dip into some of those blues for under my lashes, but let's get some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay. And we're going to wrap this up a little bit here. So I have a couple coats of this mascara on. I'm going to be honest, this Joa Lash Up Rising mascara, I picked up on a recent Joa haul. And there was only a couple things that I really think I fell in love with this drugstore brand. I think you can get them at CVS. I don't have a CVS here, so I had to order them and try them for the first time that way. But this mascara, actually, I think it was a solid mascara for a drugstore mascara. Yeah. That's, um, that's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of, I have this like elf eyeliner thing here. I think this might have come in the, come with the cookies and cream kit, but I'm gonna use that eyelashes here, just a little bit on the outside. I wanted a little bit more opacity without being a harsh line. I'm gonna take the darker blue on the outside, or outside of my lower lash line. I'm gonna put a little of this blue out here. I'm gonna just leave it on the bottom. I'm not gonna take it to the top at all. Now, normally I probably would have said, no, I'm not gonna put the, the blues and the greens together, but I feel like as I progressed, the, the greens ended up being a lot more subtle of a green than I thought they were going to be. So this, I think this is gonna work out. And I'm gonna grab this teal blue right here, right in the center. That gives you kind of that gradient shadow. I actually think this turned out really kind of pretty. A little bit unexpected, slightly dramatic, slightly interesting without being over the top. I feel like I'm a little bit dark under here. I might have to lighten it up a little bit. But I did pick up um, one of her lip products too. I think this might be the first or one of the only Dominique Cosmetics lip colors that I've ever owned. I think it might actually be the only one. So the packaging is really pretty. It's got this little DC for Dominique Cosmetics. I don't know what the shade is. I think it might be, t is it too pink? Oh no, it's kind of like a neutral color. Yeah, I was worried that it was gonna not work with the blush that I have on. I just have a little bit of dusting of kind of a coppery color blush. I think I need to, we're gonna try a little bit more though. Let's just take a bronzer and that just shakes a little bit more definition. I'm just gonna grab the Sweet Tea Lip Liner from Morphe. I know you guys are probably tired of me using this all the time, but if I don't have the time to like do uh, a whole bunch of investigation into finding the perfect shade, I find that this one usually works in a pinch as kind of like my perfect nudie brown lip liner. And I like it with a pink lip and I like it with a corally kind of lip. So the shade that I got is, uh, it's called She's a Tease and it's a little on the pinky brownie nude, but I think it goes with this eye look rather spectacularly. I'm gonna put a little dusting of powder on. I have the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which is gonna give my skin a little slight luminosity, which hopefully will look very nice in the glow of the fire from the place that we're gonna be is gonna have a little fire pit going. So that should keep people warm as we're playing outside. But this is the third and final look. This is what I'm gonna to wear tonight. It's uh, not an overly outrageous date night look, but I think it was pretty. And I used every single shade in this palette. This one is definitely a very special shade. It's uh, called Mesmerized and it's definitely a duochrome. It's got a blue, green, gold shift to it. Triochrome, maybe multichrome. The rest of these, these two, I'm gonna, these two blues in this black, I'm gonna use largely as liners. I may occasionally go a little overboard and put this on a lid or maybe this on a lid with a, you know, a smoky brown eye look just because I love the way that looks if I'm gonna be a little dramatic. These shimmers right here, these two, are really easy to use. I use the lighter one right now. I use the darker one on my last looks and I love them. These two, you've got two kind of transition shades. You've got a dark outer corner over here. You've got your inner corner or brighter and lighter shade. I'm thrilled with this palette. I actually really like it. I'm glad I didn't say, no, no, just give me my money back. I don't want it. Um, I'm glad I stuck it out. So I'll add it to my Dominique Cosmetics collection, my little baby collection. I think I have, what do I think I have? I think I've got like her berries and cream. I've got her transitions palette. I have the one Celestial Thunder that came out with BoxyCharm, I think. So now I'm in, this is like my fourth maybe palette plus the dupes. 
doesn't say dupes because it might have two of her dupes. Anyway, that's, that's it. That's uh, what I can tell you about this palette. Do I think I can get a work look? Yes. Do I think I can get a fun kind of daytime? Yeah. If you like smoky, sure. Or if you like these shimmers that are just a little bit off, yeah, I think so. The the blue shimmers, I think that that's kind of what you do. I think it's hard to do a navy blue matte, so it makes sense that it would be more of a blue, ocean blue kind of shimmer. I don't know. I'm pleased with this palette. I definitely feel like I've got my date night looks from it. And that's probably, you know, frankly, the majority of what I'll reach for when I when I reach for this palette. If you were at all thinking about it and you weren't sure of a non-professional, non-makeup artist, really not professional YouTuber either, uh, a take on an opinion because I, I, I don't get anything in PR. I'm not paid to give you a, a narrative that they fed to me. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. So if you like that kind of stuff, if you, you were interested in it, you wanted a, just an honest take on it. Yeah, I think it performed exactly as I would have hoped. There was nothing about it that I was like, oh, this is not going to go well. It actually went really well. So I hope that's interesting to you guys. I hope you guys stick around. I do tend to upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, and occasionally an extra day by request if there's something burning that you guys want my take on it i'm i'm happy to provide it uh leave a comment down below please i love it when you guys interact feel free to follow me over on instagram at shelly tsunami and until my next video bye for now